Now see, the three chlorine atoms are present at the meridian, uh, meridian of this octahedron while pyridine is present at the other position which are left vacant. So if any three, these can be three Cl or these can be three pyridine which are present at such position then that is called meridional isomer or in short called mar isomer. Fine. So in exam it, it, the question can be asked like this complex is given to you and they will ask you draw its mar isomer. So you have to draw it like this or draw its spec isomer so you have to draw it like this. Fine. Okay. So by this example we have covered all the different cases of uh, square planar as well as octahedral complexes in uh, geometrical isomerism. Okay. Now the one most important thing which I would like to share is there are certain square planar as well as octahedral complexes. There are certain cases in which geometrical isomerism is not possible. For example, if I talk about square planar complexes and among octahedral, then among them the cases like M A4 the cases like M A 3 B or M A B 3 or the cases like M A A twice. I'm sure up to this stage you know uh, what is A A B what is A A in the bracket right. So in all these cases geometrical isomerism are not possible though the structure is square planar though there is a different bond angle they can change their position environment can change but in this particular case as the four ligands are same so if you change their position the environment is not going to change fine. Here also you can try it yourself that if you change the environment of B or environment of A, change their position but you see the environment, the nearest environment will not change. Here also, it's a bidentate ligand with the two same donor atoms. So in this case also, if you change the position of the ligand, the environment will remain same, right? So these are the cases which are square planar, right? But geometrical isomerism is not possible in these cases. Now such cases are also there in octahedral complexes. The cases like M A6, that means all the six ligands are same. All the six ligands are same, changing the position will not affect the environment, right? There can be another example like M A5 B or M A B5, right? So in this case also, it's not going to give you any new structure because the environment remains same. Like that, the complex like M A A thrice, it's very very important, we'll discuss in uh, its later, when we'll discuss optical isomerism. In this particular example, only one structure is possible. Again, because you know, geometrical isomerism, cis and trans are not possible because both the donor atoms are same. Here also only one, one, one structure is possible, fine. So these are the cases and with the square planar cases and octahedral cases where geometrical isomerism is not possible, fine. So up to this we have covered all structural as well as geometrical isomerism but now we will be discussing the new category of stereoisomerism that is geometrical sorry optical isomerism right so when the word optical isomerism comes then in this case it all depends about the behavior of the compound towards plain polarized light fine right? so it all depends plain polarized light passing through the solution of that particular complex whether its plane remains same or plane is rotated on that basis optical isomerism is decided. So before that let me discuss some uh, here you have a ordinary source of light in which all the light the planes are in all the directions fine. So this is a unpolarized light. 
having components in all the directions. Now when such a line is made to pass through a nicot prism, this is a representation of nicot prism, it is a, a special crystalline form of calcium carbonate. When it is passed through nicot prism and further then, now the light coming, nicot prism allows only one plane which is only vibrating only in this direction, one plane to pass through this and all other planes are stopped by this. Now this is called plane polarized light. Now optical isomerism is the behavior of the compound solution towards this plane polarized light. Now when this plane polarized light is made to pass through the solution of the complex compound then there can be three cases one the plane polarized light goes out without any reflection without any change its plane remains same this substance is optically inactive right then if there is the rotation of this is the old plane plane polarized light is rotated towards right by an angle alpha right then such sub substances are called dextro rotatory represented by a plus sign dextro rotatory or another sign is small d remember not capital D but small d then another case in which if there is only one case if it is rotated towards the left side by an angle say alpha then substances are called levio rotatory right and both dextro as well as levio both these cases are optically active this is also represented by a negative sign or small l fine so your d form l form both are optically active so optical activity is behavior towards a plane polarized light so we'll discuss its examples uh, in different geometrical isomers